is stopped on track, I can tell you. So it looks as though there's several cars uh, stopped down there. I don't know whether anyone else got tied up in that. There is Bernaldi. Oh, my dear, that's been a big accident indeed for Enrique Bernaldi. And yeah. look at that, somebody still just going past him on the grass. I don't know who that was. I think it might have been uh, Michael, in fact, who just got... Oh, Heidfeld has crashed as well. He's involved in that. Dear, oh dear. Hopefully we can see a replay of that, making sure everybody's OK, of course. But that does look like a hard hit for Enrique. Uh, as ever with these things, it'll be interesting if it's cause or effect, that if the, left, if the right rear came off, we sent him into the wall. Or if that was a result of hitting the wall. But yeah. that's, he's, done a, he's done a fairly comprehensive job on that. I don't think they're going to have that ready for this afternoon, Ben. <laughs> You could be right there, Perry. We've got a lot of work to do to that one. The session's um, been stopped. But they will have a spare car, of course, and uh, they'll have to try and get him out of that. It, it, Arrow's just having such a tough time. So if you time. look at this, you were right about saying going past oh. because that's the safety car's door. Yeah. The last time I remember a safety car being involved in an accident was it's, at uh, Monaco. It's the medical car. Yeah, that's so right. How does that get involved? Well, I think the car was there dealing with Bernaldi, and I don't know if it was Heidfeld, I think it was Heidfeld who went to the left, basically squeezed between uh, Bernaldi's damaged car and the barrier. And I, we'll have to wait and see to confirm that on the pictures, but that's what it looks like as everybody was still trying to sort themselves out. And I'm very surprised because the Reds, I think, must have been out by then. Well, exactly. I don't know why Nicky was still going that quickly because we had been looking at Enrique for a good enough time. Well, here's a replay of the latter part of the accident, rear wheel coming off. Look at the fire as well, that's an unusual sight in Formula One nowadays, you have to say, and the wheel coming off now. Michael, uh, no, that's Rubens, I think, coming through. This was Heidfeld, and it was just after it happened. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, that was lucky. I mean, for, I mean, for Nicky himself, he's lucky not to have his head taken off in that. But um, what he was doing, not looking at the flags like that, I mean, it caught Michael out, but he did have just a little bit longer. In well, fact, I'm surprised right. it caught Michael out as it did. Well, it was time, of course, for the medical car to get there, so the incident must have you know, started a few seconds before that. There must have been yellows at least, even if the red hadn't been called for at that precise second. So, really, Heidfeld could get into serious trouble for that. I mean, the remarkable thing is that the driver getting out of that car had only just opened the door and wasn't actually getting out of the car at that precise point. Otherwise, we could have had a really, really nasty incident on our hands. Well, thank, thank goodness we've uh, just averted what, or just seen what could have been a real tragedy there. Ha happily end. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But uh, that's very worrying for everyone involved in Formula One, how an incident like that could happen. Remember, they, they have got lights in the cars this year. They do have uh, the yellow light. When, it, when a yellow flag comes out somewhere around the track, they actually get a yellow light in the car. And when the reds come out, red light in the car. So I don't quite know what happened there for Heidfeld. It, it all happened very quickly. And perhaps uh, nobody saw that the accident had happened for Bernaldi, and therefore perhaps the flags weren't out for Heidfeld. But the, the, the medical car was there, so they knew what was going on. Uh, if we've got time, because I think we're going to have time, if we can be, be good to see that once again, to just try and see how Enrique did go off, because we've, we've not really seen the, where he lost the car for whatever reason. If we can get back to that. Well, I have to say, very dramatic indeed. Let's yeah, take another this is look. Just, this is just the aftermath, of course. Rear wheel comes off. The tethers, unfortunately, not uh, keeping that wheel on. And uh, in, despite the extra strength, now we've got flags that the red was already out there. The red was already on display at that point. He should have had reds, and the door opens, and through comes Heidfeld. Oh. But, but it wasn't quite waving, and there was a marshal standing in front of it. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't a, a flamboyant wave. Look out! There's danger here. Well, there, there, that, was, that was the moment that Heidfeld came through. But, you know, that was we saw that a little time after we'd seen the wheel bouncing. There was definitely several seconds gap. And there, I, uh, think, I think the important thing is here is that, yeah, sure, they got the red flag out at that point, but was the message communicated to the previous marshal's post? To, so did Nicky go through one or two red messages, if you like, and to then find out from his telemetry if the red light came on on his steering wheel? which picks it up. So it may have just all happened so quickly and, the only, and he didn't see the red flag from that downhill section. 
Sid Watkins, the uh, safety delegate of the FIA, the medical man who's uh, been so important in recent years in terms of improving safety. That's the medical car. So it was actually the safety car, uh, or they've said switched cars, in fact. Alex Ribeiro, the driver, another Brazilian. And uh, they get that car back out there is the one that has been damaged. And that really is a very, very frightening incident. Shows you how quick they are getting to the scene, though, Perry, if nothing else. I mean, they were, they were to Bernaldi so fast. The car is parked down at the end of the pit lane, and that area of the track is, is where the incident happened, down at the end of the pit lane. So they were right on it, right away, but uh, unfortunately so was Heidfeld, and he was still at speed. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to really completely work out what the benefit of, of the uh, medical car stroke safety car was coming onto the track like that in front of the arrows. I'm not completely sure because the cars were coming from behind so if it's trying to act as a shield Bernaldi's car certainly wasn't going anywhere. Well, he's okay. Enrico Bernaldi walking back into the pits. This session uh, still has some three minutes left to run of actual track time but it's going to take a little while to clear up the mess down there from the incident and we still don't know exactly what caused Bernaldi to go off. We're not clear whether he made contact with something or whether there was a, a failure on the car. But uh, whatever it was, we very nearly had a, a horrible incident down there at the first corner. And my car was a little bit uh, on the side of the track and Heidfeld came really quickly. I was going out of my car because my car was in fire and he avoided my car but he hit the medical car. And why did you go off in the first place? I went off, I, I just touched the curb a little bit too much and I, I got a wheel spin and I spun there, there is not much area to go off there. How much time passed before you came to rest and Heidfeld hit the safety car? A lot of cars has passed there already, it was maybe five or six cars have gone through there and then came him, he was probably the last car. Okay, thanks very much. Well, thanks Peter, that cleared up why he uh, crashed. In that uh, very worrying collision just a few moments ago. Uh, Nick, what was your view of that accident? It seemed to happen very fast indeed. Yeah, that was a problem. I just uh, saw it very late. There were no yellow flags in the first chicane. And actually, I had Michael's Ferrari in front, which also took a bit of the view down. So I didn't see the car until I came around the third, uh, second corner. And uh, I tried to brake, the car got a bit loose, so there was no chance to go to the right and I had to go to the left. Um, I thought it's going to be okay, maybe a little crash, and then unfortunately um, the door was opened. Uh, hi Nick, it's Perry McCarthy. We're all delighted to see you fit and healthy, but uh, did you get no indication from inside the cockpit that there was a yellow or a red out? No, I, I didn't see anything. Just when I, um, at the same moment as I see the crash, uh, I hear my team telling me red flag, but it was too late, obviously. Yeah. Have you heard from the stewards or any uh, official parties as to what's going to happen next? No, I didn't hear anything yet, but I have to wait. Uh, as I said, I didn't see any uh, yellow flags, nothing, and just now seeing the pictures. Uh, he just put out the red flag when I'm next to him, so I couldn't do anything. You're feeling okay, Nick, yeah? Yeah, I'm fine. The car's a bit damaged, but it's going to be okay for the race, I think. Nick, thank you for joining us. Good luck with the race. I was sitting in the car, the car was on fire, and but there was many cars passing really close to my car, so I was afraid to go out of the car, but a car hit me. And then when I was just putting the steering wheel back, Heidfeld came and almost hit the car, so I just decided to run. Michael Ferrari took the view for me to, to see the car because he was just in the line. And um, then I suddenly arrived in front of the two cars and um, I only had the decision to go on the left. If I would have tried to go on the right, I would have crashed completely. And then unfortunately he opened the door. I felt that he thought he gave you quite a shock. No, no, not at all. He only took the door. But has that kind of thing happened to you before? Uh, more or less, yeah. I haven't had the door removed actually. We've had a lot of near misses.